Welcome to the Cube's coverage of KubeCon EU 2024, live from Paris, France. Join hosts Savannah Peterson, Dustin Kirkland, and Rob Strache as they interview some of the brightest minds in cloud native computing. Coverage of KubeCon Cloud Native Con is brought to you by Red Hat, CNCF, and its ecosystem partners. The Cube's coverage of KubeCon EU 2024 begins right now. Good evening, Cloud Native fam, and welcome back to KubeCon, Cloud Native Con. We're here in the fabulous city of Paris. My name is Savannah Peterson. I'm joined by my two absolute rock star analysts, Dustin and Rob. Thank you both for being here with me all week and for hanging out. I'm, I'm loving it. I mean, I, I couldn't think of anywhere else I'd want to be. No, Paris, Cloud Native, I mean, I'm going to echo spring that. Springtime. Yeah, <laughs> springtime. It's blooming. Everything's in everything's bloom. Oh, and the wine, we've all probably had a little too much, but no, it's been I don't, absolutely. I don't Never. Never. <laughs> Never. <laughs> oh, things I'm not going to say live on television. Uh, let's get your hot take from the day. You've been I, busy today, Dustin. Yeah, it's been a busy day. Finally, I got my security fix, though. We talked to a number of different really interesting security guests uh, here. Really wasn't much of a topic yesterday. Um, Agree. But, but today, I think we, we heard a lot of things and I think the interest is here. And there's a follow-up conference coming up in uh, June, the Security uh, Security Con. Security Con. Yeah, yeah I, I think it was, and I, I think I got my fix that, you know, from my little bit of whining at the end of the day yesterday on Kubevert, yeah, we Kubeverted today. We, we, we saw VMs on Kubernetes. This is now over. Coming together. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. Coming, coming together in harmony with, you know, containers. And I, I think that it makes too much sense for that to not happen over time where things come together and certain, especially where certain things are just going to live better in a VM than they are in a container. Uh, it, if they have not been written for a container. So I, I liked this and I, I think again, I got my fill on that and a lot with the developers and how we're bringing things together from the start with security as well in mind. So that's been fun today. Yeah, it's been a really great day. We had awesome guests. We had a lot of fun energy. I got to interview Neil Creswell, the person who's the reason I'm here. So I feel like it's been a really special day. I feel like one of the other things that really strikes me, and we always talk about this when we come to the show, is, is the sense of community. Mm. It feels so inclusive. I mean, even at dinner last night, we were chatting how CNCF wouldn't go to a city where diversity wasn't celebrated. And, and it, you can tell, this, this whole fam is very much inclusive and, and here to help people learn and teach them things. And also, she'll some pretty great swag. What? Yeah, oh, hey, as y'all know, this is one of our favorite segments on theCUBE, and it started at KubeCon Detroit. This community loves their swag, loves their stickers. We've had some deliveries. I even had some swag mailed to me in advance of the show. I'm going to start off with, ooh, I've got so many fun things. Okay, so it's hard, it's hard to stand out in t-shirt land, I think, and we've talked about this a lot. So many people just take the easy way out, just put their logo on the front. It's so boring. We've got two contestants today that are quite fun. So I'm, I'm enjoying this one. If you don't like guac, uh. I'm nacho type. <laughs> pretty, nice. pretty clever. Uh, the, the crew over there told me that they uh, had little avocados as well, but they went so fast that there was none left. Wow. Actually, something I noted when I was going and talking to different vendors was how packed the booths have been. Oh, yeah. Our friends at MinIO have already scanned over 1,300 badges. That's 10% of the conference. Yeah. I mean, that's wild when you think about foot yeah, booth traffic. traffic it's so, has been it's yeah, amazing. impressive. It's yeah. vibing. You know, it's, yeah. it's definitely vibing. I also really like this one because we were talking about developer productivity and how developers only get 37% of their time to be creative to code, okay. uh, according to some wonderful survey data. So this one from Mia Platform is coding as an art, Aww. which it is. And I think Cute. I think we relate don't, to that. Yeah, yeah, and I think I think even you know referring to developers as creatives isn't something we do enough because yeah. it requires a lot of creativity. It's an old but uh, great book by Paul Graham called Hackers and Painters. Fantastic collection of essays, but certainly makes the case that there is an art. Yeah, uh, to development. And so this little uh, bit stopped me in oh. my tracks. Check it out, y'all. <laughs> From Usage AI, this is to represent the, the savings, <laughs> the 57% savings. But I, I got to say, walking by their booth and seeing a wad of cash immediately got my yeah. attention. And, and I like that it's clever. I think it's really fun. They've customized it. It's just a very thoughtful presentation. And bonus points to them for also giving me the whole stack. 
please tell me you're going to try to carry this onto the plane. I, I definitely <laughs> want, to, want to see that, stuff that well, in they obviously got. They obviously got it here, so yeah. maybe they, yeah. Yeah, are you going to make it rain? We might have, we might have to do a little, uh, oh, oh well, that's how we're going to close. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll uh, so, so, yeah, we'll save, it. <laughs> we'll save it. No, but I did think that was very fun. I also am really passionate, and we've talked about this a lot, when, when companies customize their swag to the location that we're in. Mm -hmm. And I think that not enough companies do that. Actually, even with these folks, they mentioned that they focus on sustainability. Their vendor is sustainable. The, the, literally, the fabric here is, is made sustainably. So I think that's continuing the theme that we were talking about. NetApp really went for it. I was pumped by that. We've got some Herbes de Provence here, actually inside. Very nice. Very French. Ooh, smells really nice, too. Yeah. Give it a smell. And then they also, NetApp also did something awesome that I enjoyed. Oh. They did a beautiful wine bottle holder. <laughs> so nice. you just stick it like that, and then you can put your wine in. So what a fun thing. I mean, we were talking about drinking wine here in Paris and certainly have had some. And uh, I love that this is a nice little also customized yep. wine rack. It's just, Very it's, cool. It's and like you clever. said, it, it, I, I think, again, with the logo, really appropriate to France. Yeah. I, I think that is, that's key. Yeah. And, and that's something really that good. someone's going to use. high quality, yeah. It, no, it packs is. Packs well, there's yeah. a fitness suitcase. No you know? kidding, I know, I was thinking flat. about that. Yeah. And, and I mean, the lightsaber is cool and all, but what are you going to do with a six-foot yeah. lightsaber? Uh, right. Uh, uh, <laughs> right. Right, and 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 I and I love the idea of someone having this in their kitchen or somewhere and getting that brand impression every time. Yeah. I think when you when you give something functional, you're going to get far more legs out of your swag. I also liked this. Uh, speaking of functional, I liked this little oh, multi tool yeah. from Intel. Brilliant. Yeah, super brilliant. There's so many different things going on here. I, I mean, it's not just there's a a wrench, there's a can opener. We've got multiple. Uh, I don't even know, honestly. It looks like Allen wrench stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, a yep. whole, it's a whole little Intel's shebang. been doing this for years. I, I still have a, a little tool set I got from Intel at a swag uh, show at some point. I love it. It's, yeah. a, it's a super clever little way to do it. Also, to your point, packable, small, easy to play yep. with, easy to have fun. I got to get Maybe TSA compliant? I don't I, know. This, I, was debating I think that. so. I, I think so. I, I would imagine they probably thought about it. Yeah, it's under four inches, so it's, it's TSA compliant. This is great. Under four inches, is that the that's yes. the rule? Yeah. Interesting, I didn't know that. Because I had a pair of scissors once in my bag and I forgot about them and they were, they were smaller under and they let me go. Yeah. You know, oh. four inches actually pretty long. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to get into a size <laughs> chat with you, Rob. We don't have any I, space beavers oh, yeah, on the no, show no, today. No, no, that's tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, i got to give a really great a shout out to our friends at Chronosphere. They had the Daft Punk helmet that was our winner from KubeCon in Chicago. But I, 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 it, it, their socks are lovely, but I'm not just showing them because of their socks. Yesterday, they actually made me a custom pocket square. Yes, they did. Out of their sock. Martin, their CEO, did it himself. Important CEO tasks. And, and I was honestly really flattered. And it's the first time I've worn a pocket square. There ever. you go. I didn't want to feel lonely being the only one up here wearing a pocket, square. Uh, pocket no, square. No, I know. Well, so when we were twinning so well, yes. I think it was really yes. important yes. that we completed the look. And I'm grateful that they went ahead and did that for us. Uh, there's usually some fun shades. Akash has these nice red babies. And, oh. uh, you know, you may have seen me in sunglasses on the cube before in Amsterdam. So I thought these were a fun little addition. But I was not expecting ground covers. Wow. 3D glasses. Oh, wow. So this actually, Look at I, that. I, I'm a little concerned because this is making me feel better putting them on, which <laughs> is maybe telling you a little bit about my mental place right now. But it is, uh, it's just kind of fun. I got to try it. Just kind of fun, yeah. yeah. I also love when somebody just gives you the necessary snack that you need. And Hetzner did a, uh, these are little gummy bears. And it's lit, just like us. We're all lit. Nice. Everybody's lit. There's some fun pins. This is from Digital Ocean, Sammy the Shark. Mm -hmm. uh, very cute. That's and very nice. uh, since you know the whole denim jacket covered in pin thing is kind of coming back, I have quite a collection myself. I thought that was nice and not super brandy, which is also good. And oh, I don't know what happened to your paper airplane. Oh, this is awesome. So one of the things that a lot of booths do that I think is smart in terms of their activations is they'll do a book signing. Okay. And, and sometimes it's tools for developers or adults. In this case, this is an illustrated children's guide to EBPF. This is by the crew over at Isovalent. They had, it was so nice, they had the, the gentleman who authored it there signing the books for everybody. Uh, and Thank you. Personalized to you? And yeah, personalized to me, which was great. And I mean, really beautiful, really fun. It's great. We're going to have another children's book on the show, but I'm not going to give any spoilers about what happens tomorrow with Cassandra, but you won't want to miss it, folks. It's going to be absolutely great. And then this is from y'all, right? Yeah, Chain Guard. That's yeah. so, this one's fun. I love that. 
Yeah, this is. I, 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 I pointed out, and I was like, that one is really fun. Yeah, this is super cool. All right, I won't get distracted and start making my my airplane right now. But it's a whole little kit. Here, I'll work on it for you. Yeah, yeah. There you go. There you go. You get a little balsa wood airplane, which I think <laughs> is absolutely adorable. And then conveniently, uh, you know, packing. We've all got little bits and bobs and gadgets. And I thought that this new relic little K eights bag was kind of cute. I might use it for my uh, for my makeup and stuff for on set. And they've also branded it quite well. I also noticed how many, and I'm sure you saw that. How many booths did you see the Eiffel Tower at? In some capacity. A lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, a lot. Yeah. Yeah, and it's on the it's on the CNCF shirt yep. as well this time. Everyone leaning into Paris. I mean, of all the cities to lean into. I mean, it's such a draw. I mean, this yeah. conference is huge, and I think one of the reasons has to be yeah. it's in Paris. I mean, who doesn't want to go to come to Paris in spring? <laughs> right. Well, right. I was going to say we just found out also that 51 percent of the people here it's their first KubeCon. Oh, we did get so, that data. Yes, over half, which is wow. crazy. I, I, I thought it was around, I'd it's heard like 6, around. 6,000 people. That's over, yeah, over 6,000 people, because wow. there's 12,000, like around 12,300 people here. Wow. Yeah. That is so it's, cool. I think, it's, I think it's a testament to how cloud native, and in fact, that was part of the discussion, how yeah. there's new, so much new blood and so many new people because the developer community coming in to build cloud native apps, it's not just about Kubernetes. Yeah. It's really about cloud native. It really is, and I, I, I think it's cool. How many, how many KubeCons is this for you? Four. Nice. Four of them, I believe. Yeah, yeah that's strong. So. What about you, Dustin? It's about the same. I took a little break there as I went into the financial services uh, fintech world. That was a small detour. Small detour, a <laughs> yeah. couple of years. But um, yeah, I remember the, the first one I came to in Berlin, uh, the entire conference fit yeah. in a theater, in, like in a single auditorium. Oh so my goodness. A couple hundred people. Um, yeah, yeah, but you really felt something special was happening. I don't think anyone saw this as right. the eventual outcome. Yeah, yeah, I think the evolution is, has been really impressive and, and it's just super, it's really exciting. We have a bunch of fun guests on tomorrow, which is going to be fantastic. We've had great guests here all week. I'm really grateful. I, I got to take this opportunity, oops, try and make it rain here on the cube <laughs> <laughs> and make a mess. <laughs> yes, throw it, go for it. Yeah. Oh. Yay! <laughs> all right, as you can tell, we're falling off the wheels here uh, at the end of day two. And thank you all for tuning in. Dustin and Rob, thank you so much for being here, for, for holding me up and for asking such thank insightful you, questions to our guests all week. Thank all of you for tuning in as we have a blast here in Paris at KubeCon, CloudNativeCon. My name's Savannah Peterson. You're watching theCUBE, the leading source in enterprise tech coverage. <laughs>